The waste of an entire city ends up here. 1,500 tons a day. For almost 30 years, the garbage was simply dumped in a landfill on the outskirts of the city. It was a constant problem for the 1.2 million residents of Adana in southern Turkey. An unfavorable wind would carry the smell of rotting rubbish all the way to the city center. On some days, the stench was often unbearable. Now, environmental entrepreneur Ali Kantor sorts the city's garbage in this newly built facility. More than 90% of it is recycled. As human beings, the problem on this planet is us. So we are creating more waste than other creatures. We are wasting more than other creatures. So we must find a way to reduce this waste in a proper way without creating any ecological problem to our planet. Kantor has invested some 16 million euros in the plant. His goal is to make the garbage as reusable as possible without creating the high levels of emissions produced by conventional waste combustors. The plant uses bacteria to break down the organic components of the rubbish. They turn it into compost, releasing methane gas as a byproduct. The plant is the biggest of its kind in the world. The compost can be used as natural fertilizer. The modern gas turbines generate a total of four and a half megawatts of electricity without emitting large amounts of climate damaging carbon dioxide. At full capacity, it should be able to generate 40 megawatts. That's enough electricity to supply 120,000 people. The facility will cut out 400,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions a year. By this way, we find a sustainable solution in reducing the waste. So our success as a company is this. Otherwise, for example, you can have an incineration plant, you can pay a few hundred uh, euros per ton and you just burn it and you just get rid of it. But is it sustainable? Perhaps it's sustainable for developed countries, for rich countries. But what about China, India, which is half of the world? Mehmet Kandil lives around 10 kilometers away. The 35-year-old mechanic has been working in the garbage sorting plant for the past two years. His family have already started separating their own rubbish. For his parents and wife, the practice took some getting used to. But now, even the neighbors are following suit. My job has made me more aware. That's why we separate our rubbish at home, too. We separate plastic containers, for example, from the rest. We also separate paper and batteries. My daughter takes them to school where they're disposed of. And these plastic bottles here are sent for recycling. At school, the Kandil's two daughters are learning that garbage has a price and that separating it protects the environment. 15-year-old Gulena and her younger sister Irem think it's good that their father is forward-thinking. They say most of their classmates' families don't give any thought to garbage. We've started a contest at school. In containers, we collect batteries and used oil, olive oil, for example. Then it gets disposed of in an environmentally friendly way. The person who collects the most gets a prize at the end. The climate-friendly garbage processing plant in Adana has become a model for similar projects in other parts of Turkey. 
Here, a local politician is visiting the facility. Too often, garbage in Turkey is just dumped in landfills. The gases produced during the decaying process pollute the environment. Adana still has an old rubbish dump right next to the new plant. It's 25 meters deep and covers a large area. Environmental entrepreneur Ali Kantur has laid pipes through the old landfill to collect the gases that are released by the rotting garbage. This gas is also used to produce electricity. Before, because of the smell, nobody could approach to this landfill area, but there are new uh, houses raised all over uh, around the landfill. So this is, and at the same time, we are still continuing for the plantation. Many of the residents of this small village just outside Adana have never heard of waste separation, recycling, or climate protection. Ibrahim Kaputsu wants to change that. On behalf of Kantur, he's teaching the locals the importance of garbage separation and how to do it properly. 100,000 households are due to receive waste separation boxes. We used to throw everything in the same bag. But I think what I've just learned is good. Now we're going to separate too. Kantor says that though separating waste is a good thing, it mustn't be overdone. The boxes have to be collected and transported, and long-distance transportation is bad for the environment. His plant in Adana is now well known all over Turkey. Officials from several African nations, from Ukraine and other countries, have visited the facility, keen to learn new ways of dealing with their own rubbish problems.